So he got you again, huh? Got you feeling some type of way. Down in the dumps, all in your feelings. Because of their lack of loyalty. Oh, you didn't get the memo. Loyalty is a lost art. People are out here going for themselves with very little consideration for you and your feelings. I know. You gave everything to that person. You gave everything to them. And they came right, stabbed you in the back. Need you to do yourself a huge favor right now. And if you can't find them in your house, then you go to Office Depot. You go to Walmart. You go to Target. I don't care where you go, but you go find yourself a pair of scissors. And I need you to cut them people off, cut that person off before they take their knife and stab you in the back again. You gotta look out for people that look out for you and remove those that don't. Loyalty is everything. But I got a question for you. How loyal are you to yourself? Because from where I'm standing, from where I'm sitting, I see you giving everything you got to show your loyalty to this person, to show your loyalty to that person. And then when push comes to shove, you find out that they were disloyal to you. You find out that that person didn't have your back. You find out that when it got dark, it's in your darkest times, in your darkest days, that person went for self. They went for self. See, loyalty and respect goes both ways. If they don't give it, then they don't deserve to receive it. Equal give and equal sacrifice. And right now, once again, you are learning that the hard way. All you can do is be loyal to yourself first and foremost. And then once you figure out somebody is disloyal to you, you gotta aid and six them, you gotta let them go, you gotta remove them from your life, from your circle. And try again. That's all you can do. I coach basketball and I pour every ounce of my soul into these kids that I coach. But I promise you, when they go from not being able to play to learning how to play, vultures, meaning other coaches, come and try to snatch them up. Those that are loyal to me, they stay. But those that feel like the grass is greener on the other side, they leave. I decided a long time ago, I'm giving from my heart. So whatever the parents or the players do with it, it's theirs. I'm not gonna hold a grudge against new players because those people were disloyal. And I need you to do the same thing because sometimes we carry that baggage into the next relationship and that's not fair to the next person that we are dealing with. People will people. I need you to understand that. So loyalty will come and loyalty will go. All you can do is be loyal to any situation that you're in. And above all else, be loyal to yourself. And what I mean by that is, know what you stand for. Know your likes, know your dislikes, and never ever settle. Stop settling, that's your problem. You keep trying to reach down and pull people up to be at your level. I need you to lock in with me. The only people you owe your loyalty to are those who never make you question theirs. Loyalty is more than just a word. It's a lifestyle. And no, you cannot control how loyal another person will be to you. However, when they betray your trust, when they show you their true colors, when they show you they're not going to be loyal, you can control whether or not you keep them around to do it again. So they got to go because respect is earned. Honesty is appreciated. Trust is gained. And loyalty is returned. So when that person betrays your trust, I want you to return them back to the store. Because life sends you the wrong package. And you need the right one sent back to you. Loyalty is a decision. So when that person decides to be disloyal, that's when you decide to change the relationship status to non-existent. And once you do that, you find yourself climbing over the hump and weeding out all those disloyal people and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. 
And this is a great day to win. Let's go.